I don't know. Like, ladies, you know when you go out to dinner with a guy, you're like, just because you bought me dinner doesn't mean I owe you sex. And that's true. But just because you let me have sex with you doesn't mean I owe you my morning. <laughs> right? It's the same exact transaction. Equality. <laughs> I don't know. That's why it's weird women go, we're just as horny as men. Yeah, maybe. We have a lot more requirements, ladies. Quite a checklist. You're like the Goldilocks of dick. This guy's too short. This guy's too dumb. This guy's just right. Guys, we'll fuck the porch. <laughs> And I'm not saying one is better or worse, just different. We, I go to the doctor, he's like, what happened? I was like, it was too hot. <laughs> but look, I get it, you know, it's got to be uh, tough to be a lady. I feel like uh, women are getting screwed in the orgasm department. I feel like men are having way more orgasms than women, and that sucks. People talk about the wage gap. The orgasm gap is out of control. You gals are getting 77 cents to the boner. Like, if a woman had to have an orgasm to get pregnant, there'd be like two people here. And you get nothing for your orgasm, ladies. Like, if a guy has an orgasm, go and get pregnant. Carry a baby for nine months. Deliver the baby, then breastfeed the baby. And all the guy had to do is this. Okay. <laughs> and he tried really hard not to do that. It's a horrible setup with a woman. The guy has all the fun. The girl has all the work. That'd be like if I ate a whole chocolate cake and the girl gained weight. Then she went to the gym and I got buff. <laughs> Gotta be tough. Plus, women, constantly judged by your looks. That's got to be exhausting. Constantly judged by your looks. But you all know how to look good. You all look great. That's how women figured out to take the selfie up here. That was all you ladies. You know where your good sight lines are. I think that's why women like tall guys. Just some guy looking at you from your best angle 100% of the time all day long. That's why you don't hook up with short guys. Just some guy like, geez, look at the triple chin on this broad. Holy hell. <laughs> yeah, you like a tall man, ladies, and that's okay. That's how you're wired. You're all a bunch of height supremacists. Yeah. <laughs> That was always the first question back on the dating apps. You over six feet? You over six feet? You over six feet? I felt bad after a while. I felt like I had to come up with something. I was like, well, no, but if it helps, I'm still growing as a person. <laughs> Eventually, I got annoyed. with One girl I was like, how much do you weigh? She was like, whoa, that's body shaming. It's hard for me to lose weight. <laughs> it's even harder for me to gain height. <laughs> yeah. Like, you gals get so down about your looks, but you can do so many amazing things you never really brag about. Let's go through a list of stuff women can do that's unbelievable. First of all, you can make people. That's insane. People are coming out of you alive. <laughs> You'd be bragging about that constantly. I know men will take a photo of a good shit. <laughs> You're making human beings. How annoying would men be if they could make people? I made him, 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 him. Men name kids after them. They didn't even do anything. That's Jimmy Jr. Oh, yeah, what'd you do? Pfft, I came. <laughs> she didn't. I gotta do everything around here, yeah. Ladies, you can feed people. That's bananas. You got grade A, vitamin D, organic milk on tap. What, you got a cup of coffee? Right here. Bowl of cereal? I got you. You're a fucking dairy. I know a girl, she's lactose intolerant, still producing milk. She's making something she can't even tolerate. Much like my mom did with me. Ladies, you live longer than men, and you have a higher threshold for pain than men. On paper, you're like a superhero. On paper. <laughs> but that's the thing. You ladies are so incredible. You're such amazing beings, yet you're some of the most insecure people I've ever met. It's always by looks. Do I look good in this? Just turn you on. You like that? Do you look fat in this? Just doing for you? What about this? Uh, what are you kidding? You're a woman. Own it. If I was a woman, be the cockiest bitch on the planet. <laughs> what, do you have a paper cut? <laughs> I've been bleeding for three days. <laughs> this fucking guy, huh? What else you got? Oh, you cut yourself shaving? Oh, last week an immigrant waxed my taint. <laughs> What's that? You push out a kidney stone? Ooh, I pushed out a little league player. How do you like that? <laughs> now give me those Fruit Loops. Ah. <laughs> but one of the most amazing things about women, the thing you get no credit for, ladies, the most unbelievable, impressive thing is your ability to hide everything. <laughs> everything is a goddamn secret. You're all in the CIA. <laughs> you have the real you, then you, you let us see. We'll go with menstruation. Pretty big deal. Let's start there. You hide it pretty goddamn well. Men are clueless. We have to guess. Is that time of the month? What do you think? Time of the month? Is she acting weird? What do you think? Is time of the month? You realize if men got their period, there'd be blood everywhere. On the walls, the sidewalk, everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Just guys walking to work. Ah, fucking uterine lining. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy hell. God damn it. Give me one of those masculine napkins. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you too, huh, Jeff? Guess we're synced up. Yeah, there we go. All right. Here we go. Uh, says don't flush it, but fuck it. 
It's all hidden. Everything's hidden. I used to work in an office in Midtown Manhattan. I was the only guy on the floor. It was me and like a hundred women. I never heard one fart, not a toot, not a queef, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Sometimes on Friday I'd bring in chili and just wait. <laughs> nothing. I farted up here eight times tonight. <laughs> I walked in on one woman once, once taking a shit. It was like I walked in on a murder scene. She was like, get the fuck out of here! Jesus Christ, take it easy. You're allowed to shit. I'm the opposite. Walking on me shit. I'm like, hey, what'd you bring? <laughs> nothing. You're giving us nothing, ladies. All your sexual stuff, that's all under wraps, very hush-hush. Men walk around, I'm an ass man. I'm a boob man. You never see a woman go, I'm a ball gal. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I love that sack. <laughs> nothing giving us nothing. Then you want us to know how you're feeling and stuff. What are you kidding? We're in the dark. Sometimes I'll read a Cosmo, a woman's magazine. Just get some inside dirt. One time I was reading a Cosmo, there was a full page article on how to go down on a woman properly. It's like, this should be in like Guns and Ammo or Field and Stream. <laughs> Sports Illustrated. Teach us like, we want to please. God damn, you got fake eyelashes, hair extensions, spanks, foundation. You should know what I'm thinking. I don't even know what you fucking look like. <laughs> That's why it's weird when a woman's like, you want to have sex with me? You got to get to know me first. Get to know you. You're wearing three pounds of jewelry, clown makeup, and holding a fart for four weeks. <laughs> I don't know who the hell you are. That's why it's so important to have sex. It's not just because we're horny, psycho animals. We are, but it's important because you finally see behind the curtain for the first time, and it's glorious. Ladies, your hair is messed up. You're naked, yelling out filthy obscenities. You're like, damn, who's this? Your friend calls, hey, it took a month, but you banged Sarah. How was it? Great. I finally met her. <laughs> He's like, oh man, all right, well, come over, we'll talk about it. I'm like, I can't, she won't let me leave. <laughs> Thanks a lot, I'm Kevin Hart. You guys are great. What a crowd. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate it. Praise Allah. Get home safe. I'm gay. Thank you. Have a good night. Queep it up.